These legacies are on the line and history will be made as this Pride of Latvia. He is the number three rated seed in the World Boxing Super Series. And tonight, he is making his second defense of his world title, fighting out of and proudly representing Riga, Latvia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Mike. His opponent across the ring, also the defending world champion. He wears the white and gold. He's scaled at a trim and ready 90.4 kilos. His professional record, also a perfect one. 13 fights, 13 victories, 11 of them coming by way of knockout. In 2012, he captured Olympic gold in London. He is the number one rated seed in the World Boxing Super Series. And tonight, he is making his fourth defense of his world title, fighting out of Kiev, Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the skilled and decorated, undefeated WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck, touch them up. A moment for both men, putting their undefeated records and world champ on the line. And in the immortal words of boxing... So interest. here we go then, the first of a schedule, 12 three-minute rounds in this year. progress he made. And he's being cheered on in on the inside of Usyk, Usyk immediately such an adept combination puncher, good single straight round we have here just beyond the mid and both boxers have already enjoyed success in an arena that is filled to capacity absolutely once again straight between the high held hands and a hard left hand to the body. unification who's awake bout Iris Bridis, the nation's favorite fighting son is their first and only current male world Actually, he's stepping on the left leg, on the left foot of Usyk. Yeah, Usyk yeah. has just taken a stiff right hand, and there's a mark beneath his right. right. Good right hand over the front, Breedis, and Usyk's tucking up, just a line, hoping that this storm will yes. pick the south point left through the guard. Terrific jab action, cross success for Usyk. Breedis comes back with a jab of his own. Both men have prepared diligently the nature of a Latvian winter to set up camp in Belgium. Good left hand in his hometown again to be the contest everyone hoped it would be. Back comes Usyk now onto the front foot behind the southpaw right of his own. And Bridis with a give and take because both men are working on their defense as well. But an uppercut success on the inside from Bridis. Second round and the bell hasn't been heard. The men continue to exchange punches. Finally, Kenny Finn men content to continue to duke it out. Fantastic combination from straight away. And make no mistake, he enjoyed plenty of success of his own. It's worth pointing out that in this tournament style of boxing, in this particular contest, is Daniel van der Vela of Belgium. And the count back system takes into account. Guidis lands with a good right hand to the body. All oh, pretty strong as Usyk scores with a terrific straight feeling that they have the fight won. Both of these men called in young, hungry fighters to serve at this bar. Scores with the right hook around the corner. The heads came together there. And that's why Usyk is rubbing greater. And he has used skill to play a role in this. He will have the capacity to jab from Briardis, but then a jolting south poor left. Well, that's where the heads came together. Kenny Bayliss was in optimal position and caught and was sustained by Alexander Usyk. He emerged from that coming at the end of that third round. Significant cruiserweight bout since David Hay and Enzo Macrinelli came together. Usyk is hurt, got in a tangle on the ropes to accommodate. 
interest Whoa. from the United States of America. This one is being... Such is the interest in this cruiserweight unification bid so far. Good right hand to the body. Usyk tries to respond with a southpaw left down from Breedis. Usyk being forced backwards, but now plants his feet and tries to force Breedis back. Gansel Lomachenko throughout his training camp. Boxer in just a couple of weeks, and this is a portion of the round for Myris Breedis. Usyk spending an awful lot of time covering up, trying to repel, but it's single shots in reply. In response, these men have healthy stop out, stoppage ratios in their perfect ledgers. The weave gets through with a good straight right jab once again, which drives Breedis backwards. Significant that nose tended to. He's coming back behind that straight nose of the WBC champion who's just taken another right jab right in that region. The back foot more than we've seen him at any point in the contest. Usyk once again. Breedis being driven continually back this fifth round. He spits a fleck of blood and his head is buffeted by a two-shot salvo. The bell barely... Who chose to walk away. Pretty much at the top of his game after losing that. Usyk damaged the nose of Breedis in that fifth round. One wonders how significant that was in him electing to box on the back foot. And while he was doing so for this unification bout. But Usyk, body of the WBC champion. Even though he's round compared to the fifth, Usyk still having success. Right backwards and he wrestles Usyk down to the canvas. Kenny Bayliss immediately intimated. Not always of the verbal variety, just nodding as if to say, yeah, he uses balance. Partially blocked by the glove, but those two words. Right, 83 victories. He's so trying to dig in a hard left hook, but it was blocked effectively by the that right. Skill and concentration into the second half, conceding that this is the biggest fight of his career as he lands with a good left hand. With Breedis right. backwards. Breedis becoming a little bit dis on the ropes. Drops his hands and uses his legs to good effect. With the logo at centre ring to enjoy. But rather more expansively, he says that he loves the color the WBC belt to the WBO one that he came into the ring momentarily. Gets through with a left jab before taking a stiff left cross that causes him to bend contingent from Ukraine as well. And I feel that this out. Right down, Breedis. And remember, for some judges, we've got two of The contest, Usyk said that he was aware of the responsibilities he scores with a right up a standard bearer for Latvian but holds in the defense of their opponent right up and now Breedis working behind his straight left good two shot salvo from him same continuing to work his way forward in typical of what we've witnessed to this point both men oh to cracking right up through the roof here at the Riga Arena but Usyk the role that he hit Took part in the terrific police force. Usyk working behind a left jab. Good left cross right from Breedis. Pecking behind a left jab. Still breathing through an open. If this contest continues in this manner, as Usyk scores with the first right time in the World Boxing Super Series here, right uppercut wasn't too far because they have been so keenly contested. Good right hand to both Usyk and Kenny Bayliss intimating that he's to keep the punches up. Good right jab from Usyk. Breedis got beyond punching range. He comes back with a straight shot of his own. Good right hand from Usyk. Drives Breedis. Terrific action between two highly skilled operators here. And again, instruction to Alexander Usyk over in that blue corner. Two rounds. You need, you need two rounds, okay? has been suffered as of course it is a draw on the scorecard the draw will go onto the fighters records but somebody will be declared winner will go through to the final Single fighter that scenario in the Holyfield was the undisputed champion it will be the only sanctioning body to recognize the cruiserweight division but it will conclude somebody is likely to come away with all four championship belts good left hand to the firing line tucking up tightly of each man to find a fight, fight. The thought process is still sharp. Look at the exchange of backhands in that coming together. Deep into the penultimate round. 
Both boxers letting their hands go furiously. Neither really found an out to log, but that left cross most certainly did from Alexander in the 11th round. Three minutes, Chico! The grabs. Whoever wins this 12th round could well be... Both men again were up to the 12th rounder. Each man has gone the 12-round occasions. It looks as though we're heading for that juncture tonight. Usyk just straying low with the constant shots that he tried, where he tried to go to the body. As we go into the final minute, right hand from Briedis, and another shot from the right flank through to the place. In the final of the Muhammad Ali Trophy, as Briedis lands a cracking right hand at around the corner. Usyk finds a left cross. Less than 30 seconds to go now. Fully on display here between these two athletes with perfect records and champions. And still, both men punching right up until the final bell. What a fantastic contest we have just witnessed in the cruiserweight division. Everybody up. Alexander Usyk. Alexander Usyk is the new unified cruiserweight champion of the world a majority decision winner over Myris Briedis 115 to 113 for judges Mrs. Robin Taylor and